All right, it is time now for some spring cleaning on Go Hunt Maps. Uh, this is the time of year after a busy fall where I like to go back through all the waypoints I entered during the hunting season, maybe a prior scouting trip, and just organize all my data. Um, whether you have lines, tracks, waypoints, it can all benefit from a little level of organization because let's face it, when we're on the field, things might happen fast. You might drop a couple waypoints here and there. You don't label them correctly. You don't put the correct icon. You don't color them. Or let's say you're new to Go Hunt Maps and you just imported a bunch of waypoints from a different source. Now you need to do some organizing because like I always say, if you're organized and you have a plan, you will be more successful whenever your next hunt is. So I'm just gonna walk you through some of my strategies towards organization of waypoints and content and kind of how I color code things. So the three big areas when I'm organizing my content on Go Hunt Maps is the color of the waypoints, the waypoint icons, which is number two, and then folders. If you do all those three things, you will set yourself up for success, guaranteed. Uh, so right now I'm just gonna walk you through some of my how I like color code everything. Cause I feel like even though you have waypoint icons and you might have the correct icon, like it's a camp here or it's glassing here and use the correct icon. I feel like if you have a color system as well, that just makes it a lot easier for you to see everything on maps because like my maps, I have, you know, thousands upon thousands of waypoints. So keeping everything color coded and organized is gonna be key. So for example, everything that is yellow on my Go Hunt maps is always a glassing waypoint. And that's the glassing icon as well. So yellow to me, inside I can see that, I know it's a glassing spot. Uh, black, that's either all my shot locations. I took a shot from here at an animal. I like to mark those for future reference. That way I know when I'm researching for another hunt where those took place. And then every single kill location, whether I have you know killed a mule deer, kill a black bear, kill an elk, those are gonna be black. And obviously I'll change that waypoint style to match that species that I'm hunting. Uh, light blue in my maps is always animal sighted. So let's say I'm sitting here glassing, glass all across the canyon, I see a mule deer in a certain location. Whether it's a buck or a doe, I'll obviously change that style again. But light blue to me means animals located or wherever I see animals. Uh, white, simply white to me is very easy color to see. And so white is all the navigation. Whether it's ATV, I park my truck here, you know, there's a road here, access point, trails, turns. Anything that involves navigation is white. Gray, I don't know I have any use for gray before, but I figured gray is perfect for uh, camp because it's the only one I ever use. So I have multiple camp spots. So gray is camping to me. Blue obviously is just water. Wherever I find a water source, pond, stream, seep outside the mountain, blue is what I use there. And then red is obviously blood after I shoot something if I have to track an animal. So that's the way I do color. It just works for me. Obviously there's different styles, different techniques you could do. You could do color based on scouts, scouting trips, color based on hunts. But this just makes it organized and I do this for every single hunt across no matter what states I'm going through. All right, I'm just gonna run through right now a quick example of how I like to do all this organization. So I just have a bunch of random waypoints here in a random state. And as you can see here, they're all color coded orange with the Go Hunt logo on it. So I wanna change all that stuff because I want to actually be personable to what I experienced in the field to be more organized. So first thing I like to do is actually create a folder for a hunt. That way I'm all organized, whether it's a, you know, create a folder by state, species, hunt, whatever you like to do. Uh, for me, it's always year and then what species I'm hunting. So right now I'm just gonna do the bulk select tool since I have all these waypoints sitting here in front of me. It's just a quick and easy way to add everything to a hunt. So I have all those selected. Um, I'm just gonna go down here and click on, you see bulk action, click on hunts, type it in. Let's just say this was a 2021 mule deer and whatever in state. That way I won't say what state it is. So create that, create this hunt, boom. Now all those waypoints are now added to that uh, hunt folder. That just, again, keeps things more organized. So the next part I'm going to jump into is how I like to add all the colors and the correct icons. And even when I'm bored late at night, sitting at home, wherever I'm at, I can even use my phone and do all this too because all the data from Go Hunt Maps on the web seamlessly transfers over to your mobile device. Everything you enter in your mobile, scouting or hunting, transfers over to web. So you can do these either way. Sometimes I actually feel like it's a lot easier to use it on your phone because I can just be right there and click through everything. But we'll jump in right here. Um, as you can see, there's a road system through here. 
so I know kind of what things are, are looking like. But if I click on this, I see it's a turn. And I want to click on that. And it's a turn by, um, it's a road turn that I want to make. So again, all sorts of vehicle navigation stuff, I make them white. And then again, I just want to go in here and make a random little um, note of what icon it's going to be. And for this, I'm just putting trail. So it's white, and I just save it. And if I have any notes associated with it, like, hey, this was Forest Service Road, whatever, I will enter it right here in the notes as well. That's another way to stay organized and keep my data clean and prepare myself for future hunts. All right, as I zoom in here, I'm following this road. I can see it goes all the way into this, and this was actually where I parked my truck. So I'm going to go click on the truck, click View Details again, and now I'm, again, doing white because it's navigation. Keep going down through here, selecting the truck waypoint. And this waypoint right in the middle here, this is where I camped. Again, click on waypoints, change the type to camp. And camp is gray. And I want to show you another really cool, easy way to do that. So I have these two waypoints over here in the middle. And as you can see here, click on any of one of these waypoints individually it could take a lot of time, but we actually can use the bulk select tool again. And I know both of these are glassing waypoints. So I select both of them with the bulk action tool, click styles, I can change the color to my yellow right away, and I actually can change the waypoint um, icon type for a bunch of different waypoints all at once. So now I just gotta find the glassing one, I just scrolled past it, glassing. So again, that's a quick and easy way to do this. And now we just have to keep rolling down through here. This was an area where I found some water, so I wanna label this one as water, and again, I use the bright blue and just make it water. All right, this is another glassing. View details, click edit. All right, I have a few waypoints here left and I believe this is where I took a shot from, yep. So I took a shot from right here, make it black, and then use the shot icon. All right, this is actually where I killed the buck. Clicking edit, making it black, and then it was a mule deer, so I'm gonna use the mule deer icon for buck. And then this is where I actually glassed it up the day before, so this is gonna be that light blue color. Again, this is just the way I prefer to do things, it just makes it easy. And you'll see why here in a second when I zoom back out. So now I have all these waypoints color-coded, all the icons are correct. So now when I'm scanning through here, trying to figure out, okay, what was my plan last year? How did I hunt this? Well, I parked my truck here, I hiked through here, I had camp here, there's water this place. These are my glassing points because they're all colored. Now I can start to get a better picture of what I did in that unit. And then, like I said, like I always try to transfer some of this data to other places I'm hunting. And now I can start looking at the terrain details and figure out how I worked through it to then better prepare for an upcoming hunt. Or let's say this is a place I want to hunt consistently. Now I have all this data, color-coded, icons correctly um, entered in there. And just, again, with that plan in place, now I have a lot more confidence going into an upcoming hunt because everything is dialed exactly how I like it. And again, you can do this any sort of way you want, but this just way works really well for me. All right, so again, that's just a quick summary of organization of waypoints. It's springtime, there's no better time than now to do this to better prepare for the fall. Whether you have a bunch of waypoints from last year hunting season, you have a bunch of stuff you've been e-scouting, maybe you just recently imported in a bunch of waypoints from another source, this is exactly what I would do to organize all my data, all my waypoints, my lines, my tracks, that sort of thing, just to better prepare myself for future hunts. If you haven't heard, we have a brand new membership available just for maps. It's called Explore. It's $49.99 a year. Gives you access to every single state, all the maps, mobile, uh, on your computer. We also have Insider. All Insider members automatically get everything that's in Explorer. So if you're already Insider, you have access to all these mapping tools right now. And if you guys have any sort of comments, questions, that sort of thing about this process, why I do things the way I do, definitely drop them in the comments below. I'd be happy to get back to you guys because as everyone knows, I love maps and I love helping people be more successful.